So in this video, I'm going to give you a demo of how you can create a histogram for the interval variable in SAS Enterprise Miner. So for that, um, you know, the first thing you have to do is import a data set, which I already have. So I'm going to do explore. It's going to take a while, so bear with me. Okay, so now that you have it over here, you would want to select random because we'd like to select random random variables. And the fetch size, I would do max because I'd like to create a histogram for all of the variables. So uh, and then I'm going to do apply and that would fetch all the rows of my data set. So now that I have it, you would see that you know this window over here gives you some basic information about your data set. So this this data set has about 9,686 rows. There are 28 columns, and uh, this one over here is uh, sample statistics. I have talked about what this uh, very what this you know uh, sample statistics is all about in my other video. I'm saying we want to check that one out. So in the interest, interest of time, I will go ahead and create the histogram right away. So this data set has uh, a number of uh, interval variable, the numeric variable, like um, um, one of the interval variable is the, the age variable over here. So that's the variable for which we're going to create the histogram. So for that, I'm going to click on plot and the next window should give you the different chart type options. For this one, I'm going to select histogram because that's what we are going to create for the age variable. So um, for the histogram, you'll have to assign the role of X for the variable, that, variable of your choice. So in my case, I'm going to create the histogram for age variable. So I'm going to assign it the role of X. I would like to... Uh, have the histograms by the frequency but you can also choose to do percentage depending on uh, what you want my choice is frequency and then i'm going to do next and click on next again you can do uh, give it any title histogram of age variable you can also give a footnote however you may want it i'm, I'm just leaving it empty for now and then we do do next click on finish and this should give you a histogram. So right now you could see that the x-axis has, um, you know, from zero to eighty-seven. In case of the histogram, it is always nice to have, uh, you know, a higher number of means. The more number of means you have, the better it is because that will show you uh, where your uh, data is concentrated. So for this, for that, you could do graph properties, and you could select the number of means. I would like to have it. 80 you could also give it 90 70 however you may want it but it's always nice to have the higher number of beans because that will tell you where your data is more concentrated and so i'm going to click on apply and then click on ok so now you could tell that your data is concentrated over 85 over here and then 95 so that's one thing so other thing that you can also do with the sas enterprise miner is that you could also uh, you know, um, choose the or alter the axis range. So let's say for the horizontal x axis, you'd like to have from maybe 0 to 80, let's say that. And for the vertical y axis, you'd like to say, let's say 0 to maybe um, 300 instead of 365. So you could do that. And you could also, you know, uh, change your title label if you want to so uh, play around this uh, this properties windows i think it's very useful so i'm going to click on apply and click on ok and this is how your histogram looks like so yeah so that's how you can create histogram in the sas enterprise miner